Hey everyone, uh, we are going to talk about volatility today and we are going to talk about uh, how to use dealer positioning uh, to anticipate how volatile the next couple of days are going to be which is a very powerful concept because uh, most people these days, most retail traders are trading options and with options you don't have to be right with direction, you also have to be right with volatility, time and so many other things. So it's not just about direction, volatility or how big or small of a move are we going to get tomorrow is a very important part of options trading. So uh, we have developed a pretty powerful tool uh, which we call volatility distribution that can tell you how volatile the next couple of days or at least the next day is going to be. So let's uh, dive right into uh, how to actually uh, go about uh, finding the volatility distribution of tomorrow. So we have the dealer uh, Greeks build up chart which shows you deltas, gamma exposure, van exposure and charm and if you don't know what some of these terms are, I'll link another video on dealer positioning where we go into uh, details uh, on what deltas, gamma exposure, van exposure is. Uh, so please watch this video. For the purpose of this video, I am going to assume that you understand what delta, gamma, van is. And so we have all these uh, different uh, first order and second order Greeks and we have uh, this S&P's price here. I have the S&P uh, SPY's options uh, summary dashboard open. So we have the stock price and then we have the values for uh, these different Greeks uh, over the last one year. And then we, uh, we are charting these together just to see how well they are correlated and uh, how well they cause different uh, movements uh, in each other. But this chart is not that clear and uh, it's very hard to tell whether it's very hard to tell how these bars are impacting the price, which is why we have the next three charts. So these charts are a lot more uh, reasonable and they are a lot more understandable. So when we are talking about deltas and uh, deltas alone, because as soon as we buy or sell an option, dealers are on the other side of that trade and they're going to hedge right away which is why deltas are always always hedged so deltas are not going to like solely cause uh, some volatility or cause some move tomorrow they have a correlation with how price can move but they are not directly correlated with volatility and since this the purpose of this video is just to predict how volatile uh, or how big of a move are we going to get tomorrow what we actually want to look at is gamma exposure and gamma exposure uh, the reason and so when i'm saying gamma exposure why gamma exposure so when we are looking at a dealer positioning and its correlation with price movements uh, and uh, when, when we're doing that we want to see a clear relationship between those two so let's just pull up delta so if we have a delta so each bar here uh, is the future price and the, the corresponding delta here so let's say at this delta very positive delta this would probably be here where normalized delta normalized delta here is very positive what happened in the next one day if you want to go to next five days next one day uh, actually let's do one day so what happened the next one day when we had this big bar and what happened there was the next day the move was about 0.42 percent and so you can see in this chart there is no clear direction or no clear pattern so it's like it's very circular and no, we, we can't draw a trend line and we cannot fit a linear regression model or things like that it's a pretty random chart and we we, we never want that when we are trying to make predictions we, we do have a slight uh, slight correlation but it's still not that high so that tells us that once just by looking at it visually, there is no clear pattern. So like that's the first reason we are not using deltas. There is a more logical reason and that's dealers are uh, dealers are going to hatch their deltas right away. So deltas alone are not going to give us much information, which is why we, we are not looking at deltas, especially for volatility. But just by looking at this chart, you can see yellow is where we are at right now. So we, we don't really know where, how much, let's say, we are going to move we are not talking about direction right now just we, we are just talking about the magnitude of the moves that we are going to get uh, in the next one day and again this is future price so we are looking at where we are at each of these days and what happens next 
and this can help us anticipate if we are at this level is this yellow level today what's going to happen tomorrow or the next couple of days and you can change that parameter from here okay so hopefully we understand this chart now i'm going to skip the price distribution because that deals with uh, predicting the direction and i'm going to go to the volatility distribution but now that we have uh, found out that we're not going to use deltas to predict volatility now let's actually go and click on the gamma exposure and with gamma exposure we do have a very clear pattern so correlation is almost zero but there is a very clear pattern and that pattern is as you move towards negative values of gamma exposure you can see this volatility or or this future price change contract so when, with extreme negative normalized normalized just means we, we divide everything by the maximum value with extreme negative normalized gamma exposure values we can see that the moves the next one day's future change in percentage terms starts getting smaller and smaller now this gives us some very good observations and some very good ideas on how to predict volatility so now this tells us that anytime a uh, gamma exposure is extremely negative in the next one day we are expecting very small moves on the flip side anytime gamma exposure goes to zero or slightly above zero you can see these big moves so literally like four percent move in s and p to the downside and then we have like 2.7 actually more more as well 3.17 so we have these big moves in s p when gamma exposure is either close to zero or slightly above zero that is very very powerful because that one is a clear pattern we are not getting these big moves like at this point at the point that we are at right now okay so hopefully again that's clear now what we're going to do is we are going to convert this chart this exact chart into this volatility distribution chart and this chart is why i'm making this video so now based on this chart we are going to look at look at the regions uh, look at the dots around the yellow dot yellow is where we are at right now and just sum them up or average them up to see how much volatility or how big of a move are we expecting so you can see that around this yellow dot we had like a max or minimum move of 1 to minus 1%. And so we are going to do that. We are going to take an average of all these dots around this. And then that's going to be the last bar here. That's the yellow bar. The bars, the light yellow bars above and below this are the upper and lower limits. So these are just confidence intervals. If we are saying that based on today's data, today is August 22nd, and tomorrow's volatility again future price change tomorrow's volatility or tomorrow's price change on average would be 0.84 percent the max range would be about 1.15 and the minimum uh, might be about 0.54 so now this is telling us that tomorrow we are expecting uh, on average a move of about one percent uh, intraday or from today's close to tomorrow's close uh, so this is actually from today's close to tomorrow's close. Uh, so this does include the pre-market uh, and the after hours movement as well. So I hope, uh, I, I keep saying this, but, but I hope uh, you realize that this chart, one, it has a pattern. And second, once we, ha we have found a pattern, we can now look at where we stand right now and use that to gauge where we are going to uh, go in terms of how volatile or how big of a move we are going to get tomorrow. Okay, so what happened uh, last Friday, this would be a Friday. So yeah, so this data is from Saturday, but uh, the data is built on top of uh, what we had until Friday. And the reason we generate this data on a Saturday is so that we can skip all contracts that expired on Friday. So this data was telling us about how big of a move are we going to get today, which is August 22nd. And we are looking at August 21st to gauge how much we are going to move on August 22nd. And you can see that the move was about 1.24% on average, which is like more than the highest limit we have for tomorrow. And the high was uh, the higher limit was about 1.7%. 1.7% in S&P is a very big move intraday. And so this was telling us that today we are again not saying up or down. 
we're just saying today we are going to get a big move up to about like 1.7 1.8% at max and then even on the lower end at least about 0.8 or 0.9% intraday move again that's very powerful because we were expecting a lot more volatility today and anytime this is a rule that every trader should know anytime we have more volatility there is more reward and there is more risk and traders typically want to go to markets that have volatility so volatility is really good as long as you know what you're doing so once we know how volatile tomorrow is going to be we can position ourselves for uh, for tomorrow for instance if volatility is going to be slightly lower tomorrow then we can then we can at least decide that we are not going to go into big positions tomorrow because there might be some choppiness there might be some main reversion so we just want to avoid losing money uh, to time or to theta uh, or to other factors so that's again uh, very important to know so i hope uh, at least by now you understand how we are generating this this chart um, these bars are from some previous dates uh, just to show you what volat volatility levels were in some previous dates so i hope again we are going to skip the price distribution for this video but i hope the the greek's correlation and the correlation of the price change the future price change with gamex poyer and the volatility distribution charts are now clear and i hope you can start using them to sort of gauge how big of a move are we going to make and then make then make a uh, plays based on that if you have any uh, questions please uh, feel free to post them in comments uh, i hope this was a useful video to you i'll see you guys around